we're glad to have you guys here today. Uh, I'm Dr. Robert Stanley, and we are going to be performing a guided surgery with a veneer graft. So this is our surgical guide. It's color-coded. It was cr created to it for us by Vulcan Dental. This is our tissue punch. It's designed to specifically slide inside this master cylinder. So as we slide into position here, we're going to go ahead and engage. We do a little... We have a buckle defect, as I mentioned, and we want to graph that. So let's see if I can show you that. See that concavity there? That's what we want to build out. We want to build that out so it's a little bit more flush. I'm not sure this matters too much because it does get soft. Now I'm using a cross-link collagen membrane. Why cross-link? Well, I'm using cross-link because I want it to hang around longer. So the non-cross-link resorbs quicker. And in a case like this, I want it to hang around a little longer. So I'm going to try to insert this as my first, first run here. And then if it's too big, I'll go ahead and uh, trim it a little bit more. So it's a little big on the distal. So at this point, the guide goes back in. We go to our implant kit. On the back wall here, we had the surgical guide was created on the three shape software, but the guide was printed by Vulcan Dental. So here's my implant, color coded. This is yellow because this is yellow. This is my stop link. So when I touch this to the top of that, that's how I know that I'm down deep enough. We're gonna, gonna confirm that the speed has changed and the water's off for a third time. So Sarah, my assistant, has already asked me and I've confirmed it. So this goes into the hole. You wiggle it till it gets seated and then start to rotate until the guide catches. I can come in with a hand wrench and I can tweak this position. So if I just want this to be just a smidgen more towards the facial, now I know I have a flat on my hex right to the facial. And in cases where you might need an angled abutment, that would come in handy. The guide, the uh, show you guys here is this is our implant placement. And we couldn't be happier with that placement. Look at this, look at this distance on either side. You know, Tarnow's rule, one and a half millimeters between uh, the tooth and the implant is just beautifully held here with using a guide. It's just so low stress and such a beautiful way to do it. We also know that we don't have any buckle perforations or anything like that as well because we've... <laughs> One last radiograph, verifying that our temporary is in the right position. And then what we're going to do is we're going to close this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sling suture, which is uh, one of my favorite sutures to use with in most of my periodontic work that when we do like the Pat Allen technique where we do a coronal advancement for root coverage with alloderm. Then we would use uh, uh, a fair number of sling suture. So if you haven't seen the sling suture, this will be fun for you. Okay, so we've got our, we got our last radiograph and it looks spectacular. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and close that up. So that's it. So we've got a beautifully placed uh, crown on top of an abutment, on top of a immediate implant with a veneer graft that should last a long, long time and give them great results. We'll let them wear this for about three months and then we'll come back, we'll do ISQ, verify that it looks good, and then we'll start doing the final PROS workup for them, okay? So thank you so much for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you next time.